Okay, fellas. Um, so um, if everyone could stand up for me. Okay. All right. So um, this lesson is about sleep. It's about mm -hmm. sleep. Um, you are going to get some information today that is based on um, the effect that having enough sleep and not having enough sleep has on your brain and thus your performance as a human being. So what I'm going to do, you guys. Is I'm going to ask you. Um, I'm going to go through a series of questions. Okay, um, it'll be very self-explanatory. So, um, everyone is standing up right now, which is excellent. If you get, on average, ten or more hours of sleep a night, stay standing. statement that I'm about to say and show you is true. Sitting down means you think it's false. Okay? Make sense? So what's standing up mean? True. true. What's true. sitting down? False. Okay, cool. All right, you guys are going to have three statements. Okay? Here's my first statement. On average, a person spends one third of his or her life Sleeping. Stand if you think that's true. Say if you think it's a third of their life. Okay. okay, curious if anyone wants to share why they think it might be true. Yeah. Certain deep sleep. So it's a little bit worded in, in such a way. Yeah. And I know that some people might not have this sometimes because, like, I know me, I wake up sometimes the way I'm sleeping. Absolutely. Yeah. And again, this is average, right? My, my, uh, my wife and I have really different sleep patterns. I'm the type of person that, like, when I put my head to the pillow at night, I will sometimes fall asleep, like, while talking. Um, she's the type of person that will lay in bed for, like, an hour before she falls asleep. But then, conversely, in the morning, Literally, like the sun comes out at 5:36 in the clock, and I'm like, "Boom! I'm ready to go!" Boom! Right? And she's like, uh, "Okay." Ah, so we're all really different in a lot of ways. Okay. Cool. Um, have a seat. One more. Got two more statements. Um, I will tell you at the end. Okay. Uh, my next statement is this: The older you are, the more sleep you need. Is this statement true? Stand up. Is the statement false? Stand up. The older you are, the more sleep you need. False is seated. Standing is true. I'm gonna. The older you are, the more sleep you need. Okay, hang on. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. They're, 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 they're looking for the laugh. Okay. Okay. Anybody care to comment? Yes. Ha <laughs> 
Last one, last one. True is standing, false is sitting. A lack of sleep during preteen and adolescent years can lead to diabetes, strokes, and obesity. So, kind of around your guys' age right now, a perpetual overtime lack of sleep can lead in very severe cases to having diabetes to having strokes, and potentially obesity, okay? It seems like an interesting link. Obesity is, is a perpetual, very bad overweight, okay? Like, like unhealth, unhealthy levels. So we're saying true, 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 okay? Anybody care to comment on these? Yeah? Obesity is like getting closer. Mm -hmm. I think, I think most sleep makes you Okay, okay, okay. okay. Um. So when you're, don't have enough sleep, and you're kind of like, Meh. and so you just, you, one, you don't do as much because you're like, Meh. and you also, um, maybe you eat more because you're hungry, because when you stay up, you can get hungry, okay. because you can sleep for 12 hours, yeah. and not be hungry, okay. but when you're awake all night, okay, okay. I'm glad you brought that point up. That point about if you don't sleep, you can get sick. That's a true statement. And I think most I think most people think that statement's true and buy that as being true. But what's important is to understand why that's the case, right? So what, something happens when you're sleeping to your body that prevents sickness. And we got to figure that out, OK? Anyone else have any final comments on this? Yes. Yeah. Great. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, okay, what's going to happen right now is this, okay? I'm going to tell you in just a moment which statements are true, which statements are false. Just after I do that, I'm going to ask you guys to do a little uh, silent reflective writing. During that time, um, you should enjoy uh, two um, evidence in your cup, but not yet. What I'm going to ask you to write is the following. I'm going to ask you to describe your personal sleeping habits. Generally speaking, on average, what time about do you go to bed? Um, what time do you wake up? Hey, don't start writing yet. What time do you wake up? Uh, do you sleep? Uh, do you like to sleep when it's hot out? Do you like to sleep in the cold? Um, do you have any kind of pre-sleep rituals or things you do? Um, things like that. 
What's going to happen is this. I'm going to cue up some music. While the music is playing, I'd like you to quietly describe your sleeping habits and patterns. When you hear the music stop, please finish up whichever sentence you're on. While you're doing this, you may enjoy doing it. Yeah. Let's make it happen. <laughs> one person next to you and just uh, share uh, about your sleeping patterns with that person. You guys can work as a trio. Go for it. Not just when you go to bed, when you wake up, but uh, do you have any kind of pre-bed rituals? Like, do you like to like take a shower before you go to bed? Do you um, do you you know uh, eat a snack? Things like that. So, if you have this ball, you are definitely allowed to speak. Um, if you're not, uh, I'm, I'm going to ask you kindly not to. Um, coming to you, Ari. So, um, usually I go to bed around 8:30. Would you describe yourself then as more of a night person than a morning person? Or just even a hard time waking up? 